go get something to eat. So look at that big elk right there, Laura. sleep with a, some knockwill. Did, did all that to me. Mm-hmm. And kilt his A. But she's saying we can get to there from the third floor in the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something new. I'd like to go out there and check it out. Go get something to eat. That sunglasses thing is new. You listen? The sunglasses thing is new. Mm -hmm. So our room is like right there. I think our room. No. It may be this one. I think those fish are. See, there's people up there. Right there. There's a lot of people up there. I got all the stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Coming time to need some of that. I'm not a big fan of the winter. See anything? I love that um, fleece pullover. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the right for the mm -hmm. So, we got the general store with fudge in it. Baking tackles back there. This is the line for the elevator to go up to the lookout into the restaurant. See if you're staying here, you get a bracelet. You don't pay to go up, and you can ride as many times as you want. Because Lori likes to get in, and just go up and down, don't you, babe? Mm hmm. like in the bottom, that's a cushion. And then there's alligators over there. Alligators. Over on the other side. You like alligators, right? I gotta show you that video of the guy. Let me show you real quick while we're waiting. No, a new one, right here. Look at this. Oh my 
my God. He started nibbling on him. He thought he was being sharp, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did All right. that, really. I'm Bill Vance. Did you know that you're taking a ride on the nation's tallest freestanding elevator? You're flying over 300 feet in the air. Now that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. Here's another fun fact for you. This elevator and everything no, you, they see were you look down would never have happened had it not been for one big old mission. Mm -hmm. They're real. One day, my dear that's friend so and mission buddy, Johnny Morris, the founder of this so place, Jack Emmett and I, were not very far from this building on the Mississippi River Vision. Johnny was trying to make a major decision if he should put a Bass Pro Shop in the pier of it. And kept asking, should we do it? Not knowing how to answer, he finally said, I'll make it easy. If we catch a catfish over 30 pounds, we'll put a Bass Pro inside. Well, guess what? There we were when Jack set the hook, reeled in a fish that removed all the pressure. A beautiful catfish, a little over 30 pounds. Johnny screamed out, it's a deal. We're going to do it. We all kissed the fish and released it before the fish even got back to the bottom. Johnny started making plans on turning this place into an outdoorsman's playground. A good fish story, huh? <laughs> well, you're just about to the top, and I want you to go and have a big time at the lookout. Don't forget to step out on those glass overlooks and take a look at the most amazing view of Memphis. Have a good time, folks. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. Alright, let's make reservations. So we're sitting here, and then I'm going to look over. I can't see what's going on over there, but I think you can see out there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. In fact, where the Crown Plaza is, right along in here, Elvis's Lauderdale apartment was right there, just to the left of it. Playing good music in here. Uh, no. Yeah, that'd be good. This is good. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it's too sunny out there. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Friends, I'm gonna face my fears. Uh oh, we gotta go over there. I think it's gonna be uh, you go ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. See, this is glass that you step out on. I'm not going to walk on the glass, I'm going to walk on this, but this is still crazy. But that's the Mississippi River. That was an airport at one point, Mud Island. I saw George Jones, and um, he had two opening acts at the time. That would have been the first time I came to Memphis, 1988, there at Mud Island. And the two opening acts were two people I'd never heard of before. And I was like, get these people off stage. Let's hear George. And it was Alan Jackson and Lori Morgan were the opening acts. And my daughter, when she lived here, and her husband was in medical school, she lived here on, my, on this mud island. She lived on the far end. Of this is a, a high dollar area of Memphis. Very cool. 
And you don't really think of Memphis being on the waterfront, but it is on the Mississippi River. And you have uh, river boats here. There's all kinds of photos of river boats down in, in here. I'll show you some of those. Just very, very cool. And they've got this new terrace down here now. You see the terrace where you can go out and sit on the edge and overlook the river. And I think they have a bar down there and all that kind of stuff. We'll walk out there. That is new. That was not there last time I was here. But they even have it where it's got the, the water um, misting over you to keep you cool and that kind of stuff. Just very, very cool, very beautiful. And you can see the Mississippi River is down. So if you look at over in there, it's so bright I'm having trouble seeing. If you look right in there, you can see that is normally underwater. The Rachel Man said it's the end of time. The Mississippi River, she's going dry. Friends, this is elk slider. I thought it was moose. Boy, I thought that was funny. That's very funny. What's the difference between a moose and an elk? Meet, meet. What's that moose? What's the name of that moose that's... Marty Moose? Yeah, the there's, a, there's a famous moose. There's no famous moose. Okay. okay. So this is my wedge salad. It's going to be really good. I love wedge. So I got the scallops, and I love large scallops like this. Lori got the big hearty steak and the fries. Actually, the scallops are hers and the fries are mine. No. Right, baby? No. What? I don't like scallops much. So Lori wants to go out now. You ready? I'm ready. I was telling her that if she fell, we had this same kind of glass at the at the Grand Canyon. If it, it was four thousand feet down, here it's only three hundred some odd feet. And if you fell, you could just slide right off the edge of the pyramid, just really easy. So you just slide down. See, Laura, just slide down. Yeah. It's just it's against everything in my mind to do that. But what I want you to see out here, friends, is this boat right here. It's going against the current. It's going that way. It's going really slow. That one down there, I want to show you where it's at. Passed minutes ago because it's going with the river. So that's down river. This one's going up river, so it's struggling. And then I'm going to zoom in over there. That river doesn't look that big, but get down there. That is a boat out there. And this is a bigger boat. Look right here. Look at how tiny they look out there. It's a mighty, mighty river. And some of those people are out there rolling on the river. And that, if I, if you start falling, I'll, I'll catch you. So see, if you just slide right down, right here, if you just stay on the pyramid and just ease down, just kind of hold a little bit to slow your fall, when you get to the bottom, you'll be good. Yeah. No. But the repair on the bridge, friends, y'all remember that big repair that was going on was somewhere right along in there. Flew the glory out to it back then. But even though it's dangerous, I can tell you where it's not dangerous. In the same way is right here. Now it's dangerous being here because you could fall off. But it's actually less dangerous than being in the city. I guarantee told you. Did you, did you walk on? I just left you out there.
So they've got a little harbor. See people putting boats in down there. A lot more goes on around here than you think it does. And where Elvis worked at uh, MB Parker's was right over in there. And you see the Firestone Tower is right somewhere. I'm trying to see it in the in the lens. There's the Firestone Tower. There it is. So the Firestone Tower is right there, and Scotty Moore's house, where Elvis first went and interviewed with Scotty, tried out, was right there. And that was where Firestone was. So I was just trying to tell Lori that if you just got out here and just eased down the edge of it, I mean, it's a gradual fall. It's not like falling in the Grand Canyon where it's straight down. So you just ease down there. Yep. What do you think, Lori? It's cute. Scary? It's scary, but I like it. I always come out with it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Every time we come, but uh -huh. it's still scary. So these people just stand right out on the glass, right on the edge. Just like it ain't nothing. So this is what it looks like inside. Got the big fish tank. All the stuff up there. So this is another area that you can see downtown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is going to be downtown Memphis, and I'll show you. The Lauderdale Court, place where Elvis lived. Let me put my glasses on. So I'll show you where Elvis lived. That is the Lauderdale Court, literally right here, right there. That building that you see, that was his front door right there. And then the Alabama house is just a little further down, right at I 40, right there, center screen. Yep, downtown Memphis. I flew the drone up here one time. Malthus. See, you don't realize how far down we are, or how far up we are, I should say. It's on top of the elevator. Here it is. <laughs> Welcome back. Me again, Bill Dance. Hope y'all had a great time. I had somebody in here was talking. Amazing views <laughs> from my home state of Tennessee. Now, going back down, take a look around and enjoy the sights. If you look out across the way, you'll see a sign. I don't want to see that. Like it's, it's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Getting the camp yeah. out right here. <laughs> here. Here. I mean, this place is world class, and you can even stay in a room that looks like a tree house or even an old time duck cabin. Hey, they even got the big governor suite with a full kitchen large enough for you to cook up a big Sunday dinner for the whole family after church. And that afternoon, when you finish exploring the pyramid, you can kick back, relax, on one of those rocking chairs out there on the balcony. Just enjoy the view of the Cypress Swamp. Wow, that sounds relaxing to me. Now, if you want to learn more, this visit their website at bigxcypress.com or go visit them here at the Pyramid. Like, don't miss some of the other great adventures here. Like the Ocean Rider and around the bowling at Uncle Buck's Fish Coast Grill. Or enjoy the Sea Turtle practice at Big Water Park. Now, I don't know about the Sea Turtle, but I'm sure it's a great place to go. Now, I'm going to go to the Sea Turtle. I'm going to go to the Sea Turtle. About all the adventures you can experience. Visit the friendly folks at the Sea Turtle. It was good. It was like taking this sky high ride and enjoy us here at Bass Pro Shop at the Pyramid. Can't wait to see you again. And until then, how about catching one for a minute? Shop. 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 Shop.
And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.